Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see in my videos. You know, like information that's going to help you or things you might find interesting about hiking or the adventure. Um, useful information, just let us know what sort of information you would like to know. Um, then I can make these uh, videos a lot better, more educational for you. So, um, yeah, very good lights. So in here, I've got my um, Rub Silk Liner inside my Rub Ascent 900 sleeping bag, winter sleeping bag. And on top of that, I've got my OEX Bushcraft Bivy. And then around that, I've got my British Gore-Tex um, Bivy. And around that, I've got my uh, Thermal Rest, Ridge Rest mat which will go in my Beetle 70 plus 10 litre backpack. So I've got me uh, all my bivy, my Gore-Tex and all that, all, all my sleeping gear inside there. Um, on top of here, I might put my hot water bottle, uh, some emergency stuff. In here, some clothing for a cushion and some gas. And I've got my day pack on top of here for the, the food later on tonight. I've also got this gear top um, ground sheet, or it can be used as a tarp, which I'm gonna use tonight. This is great for uh, stealth camping this kit. I can just get it out of the bag and it's, it's ready to sleep in. And it's going to be a clear night, so I'm doing some uh, star lapse photography. And it is my birthday, which is why I am going out tonight. Got a fire log there. I'm bringing that with me. The fire. That will go down the bottom there. In there. Then I've got a uh, it's a cheap fleece top there. It's going to be below one tonight. Minus two actually was the last reading I looked at on the weather report for tonight. Uh, that was another fleece top, by the way. So that's two fleece tops and a sort of like a thermal top there, hooded top. But I've got some also some thermal leggings I'm going to be wearing when I walk down there and. Um, that's another thermal top, so that's going to be well enough. And as it's going to be so cold tonight, I'm taking a balaclava. There you go. That will go in the top. And in here is my medical kit, which I will put in the bottom, actually. And then it goes in a, a pocket at the top. And a zip pocket underneath the top of the hood there on the bag. Got my gas can there. I use this type of gas for uh, winter. It's better than the cheaper gases I normally use in the summer. And I've got this little uh, case to put the gas in to keep it warm as it's going to be so cold tonight. And I'll probably put a hand warmer in there as well. That'll help. That'll go in the bottom of here by the way. But I'm just waiting for this case to dry because it has some mould on it. So I'll give it a bit of a wash to dry the uh, mould off. Hopefully that's come off. Um, I'm going to be doing some burgers and sausages tonight. Uh, possibly in the morning as well. So um, I'm taking my frying pan. I've got a separate plastic bag for that because obviously it's going to get greasy. So I want to keep that away from everything else. That's going to go in there. That will go in my day pack, which connects on the back of my uh, backpack. It's got some clips that clip on there. That's gonna go in like that. And then I've got a pot, which might take some extra food, dehydrated food to uh, 
to uh, boil in the morning if I'm still hungry. It's a little bit extra food just for emergencies, just in case. So I'm gonna take two liters of water with me. I haven't got that here, but uh, I'll probably put that in my day pack with two liters of water. Um, I'm not gonna fill it in here. Um, so this will go in here. Okay, so there's my stove, hot pad, stove, wind guard, and reflector. And also saw a reflector reflects the heat for the winter, even if it's not windy. Um, actually, I will put um, the stove in, um, in the pan. So we go in there. Uh, probably. I'll put these in a separate bag because they're quite greasy. They're going to have a separate bag. And they're sharp as well. Quite sharp. So I'm going to wrap it up. Um, there they go. Go in there. Um, so I've got my spoon, spork, even. Got this. I'll put that in a minute. I mean, oh, actually, that needs cleaning. Um, so I've got a um, camera stand there for the GoPro. And obviously I'm filming this with the other camera stand that I'm using for my Canon camera, which I'll be taking tonight as well. Um, both my stands go on either side of the bag. I'm probably not going to take the gimbal. I'll probably do some standing camera stand shots rather than moving about shots, to be honest. Um, it's just a lot easier. Um, it's not like I'm walking really far or anything, so... It's just for a night, night out for my birthday, so get away from everything, can it? And um, hot water bowl with water already filled up in it. Probably let some of the air out of this. Actually, this is quite mostly air, but that will go in my little day pack here. Um, and of course, it won't be my birthday without some Jura whiskey. Um, that'll obviously go in my day bag and my two, probably two litre bottle of water I'm taking as well along with uh, two cold cans of coffee uh, so sauce, like in a little bag and oil for um, burgers, obviously the burgers and I'm taking burgers so uh, they go in my uh, day bag for there um, yeah, some spare bags here obviously I'm going to take a spare bag as well for my shoes because I'm sleeping in the bivvy, if it does rain in the night, I can put my shoes in a plastic bag in case it rains. And it also stops the slugs and bugs going in your shoes and stuff. And if you live in a country where there's poisonous spiders and bugs or whatever, it's probably a good idea to keep them out of your shoes. So use a plastic bag. And these come kind of useful. I know a lot of people don't like plastic bags, but they have their uses. Uh, as long as you don't um, waste them, um, reuse them. Oh, and I've got my uh, GoPro and light there. I've also got another light here. This is for when I'm using the camera I'm filming with now, the Canon uh, G5 uh, Mark II. Um, I use this with the gimbal or just using it um, when I'm moving the camera about. But at the moment, I'm using my sort of stu uh, portable studio light, which I'll be taking with me as well. So yeah, I've got quite a lot of uh, camera equipment. On this occasion, as I said, I won't be taking the gimbal and I won't be taking the drone. It's a bit pointless taking the drone just for one night. Um, and where I'm going, I won't drone that area to death anyway. And um, I've got my, I only need this little battery pack here. Now what I like about this battery pack is um, it's a power direct battery pack and it can keep my uh, Canon G5 Mark II powered while it's doing star laps so the battery doesn't run out uh, otherwise I think um, I'd probably only get probably be lucky to get 20 seconds of star laps got two lights I've got a black diamond icon 700 which I use for hiking and walking and for running I use um, this black diamond light I'm not too sure what this one's called I might put it up on the screen what it's called but I can put links in the description for them there might be a new model than this, but this is a brand new model. I've only just got this one. Um, I'm going to take both, one for backup, 
Uh, both really bright lights. Uh, this is 700 looms. Gas in the air. This little um, thermal jacket, which I'll put in here. And then I'll put this in the bag pack. Pack as well. That's the the pot and the uh, cooker. I feel like I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Put that will go in my day pack. And this will go in my day pack. Interesting putting the two litres of water in there. I think it's going to squeeze in the big backpack, but I'm sure it will. I'll find somewhere for it to go. Um, so, yeah, sauce, oil, and then burgers will go in here. Just so you don't miss the next video to this, please do subscribe if you haven't already.